And now, a new I-Team investigation is prompted by this unusual letter. It was sent to City Council President Lori Borier from the Turkish consulate in Miami. Turkey's diplomats are trying to tie the recent coup attempt in their country to a Turkish political figure living in Pennsylvania and to a charter school here in Jacksonville. I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner has been digging into all this. Lindsay? Well, locally, we're talking about the River City Science Academy. It's here on Beach Boulevard. It is a charter school that's growing all across Duval County. They're actually on track to open a fourth campus here near Mandarin. Well, today, the executive director of the school denied any ties to Imam Fatullah Gulan, a man Turkey is demanding President Obama extradite immediately. After a violent coup attempt in Turkey with tanks in the streets and bullets flying, the rebels surrendered. After one night of fighting, more than 200 people were dead and 1,500 wounded. Days later, the Turkish consulate in Miami sent a letter about the coup to Jacksonville City Council President Lori Boyer. It states 7,500 coup plotters have been detained in Turkey, but the Turkish government wants the United States to extradite Fatullah Gulan, who recently talked to CNN through an interpreter. Doing these kinds of things are a direct betrayal of our nation, a direct attempt to divide our nation, and I do not condone them. Gulan, who's said to be in bad health, rarely ever talks to the media, living in self-imposed exile here in Pennsylvania since 1999. In the letter to Boyer, the consulate states Gulan's terrorist group is disguised as a religious cult in the United States. National media reports tie Gulan to charter schools opened by Turkish immigrants all across the U.S., 130 schools in at least 26 states, one of them here here in Jacksonville. River City Science Academy first opened here in Duval County in 2007, founded in part by a Turkish American. He is now the school's executive director and talked to me by phone today, adamantly denying any connection or involvement with Fatula Gulan. And we have a pro one track record uh, academically and operationally in Duval County. And those allegations are uh, nonsense and that's not true. This afternoon, the BBC reported Turkey's president is now pushing all Gulan schools to be shut down globally as they continue to pressure President Obama to return him to Turkey. I also spoke today to City Council President Lori Boyer. She told me, quote, we were surprised to receive the letter and are trying to understand the involvement, if any, locally. Meanwhile, the school had requested two resolutions by City Council, but those have both been placed on hold. And late this afternoon, a father called me to say his four children here in Jacksonville attend River City Science Academy, and they love the school and the staff. I should also mention I reached out to the FBI. It could not confirm or deny the existence of an investigation, Tom, but previously we do know that FBI agents were looking into claims that these Turkish teachers were coming over and funneling parts of their paychecks back to the group and using the entire system, and that's part of what the FBI was looking into. But Lindsay, what about Turkey's call for the extradition of Mr. Gulan? Any response from the White House to that? Well, the president has been in talks with Turkey's president, telling him, of course, we don't support terrorists. But at the same time, there's a process to all of this. And the United States must follow an extradition treaty. And people living in the U.S. are entitled to due process. Well, Turkish officials are now expected to travel back to the U.S. and demand his return. And in fact, they will be presenting charges that he's been planning this coup, they say, for decades.